Okay, everybody, good morning. So I thought I would give a lesson today called Cartesian Grid. And this lesson has a little bit of math and a little bit of science and a little bit of history. So I'm pretty excited about it. So there was this French geometrist, mathematician, philosopher named René Descartes. And he lived in the 17th century, so probably 350, between 350, 400 years ago. And he was somebody who liked to sleep in a lot. He liked to stay in bed and relax, much like I do myself. And one morning, he was staring at the ceiling and he saw a fly. And he's watching the fly move around the ceiling. And he's like, I wonder what would be the best way for me to describe exactly where that fly is on the ceiling. And so he decided, all right, I'm gonna look at my ceiling and let's pretend this piece of graph paper is a ceiling. And he's like, I'm gonna put this corner over here as the starting point. So let's pretend that the fly was right here. And he said, okay, the fly is at 11, five. Very similar to how we use our addition or multiplication finger charts in primary. And then the fly flies over here. And he's like, okay, five, one. That's where that little dude is. And then he flies over here. Oh, now he's at 12, one, like that. And so he just kind of charted where the fly went using these numbers in his head. And that's what we're gonna look at today. So this yellow portion down here is called the X axis. Okay, this is X here. The blue portion is called the Y axis. Now, when we look over here, we can see how you write coordinates. So you have these sets of numbers in parentheses, and then you have a three comma four. Well, if we look up here, X always goes first. Okay, X marks the spot, that's where you always go first. And then y up the side is second. So here it says three. So three on the x axis. And then it says four on the y axis. We're gonna find that and we're gonna bring our fingers to where they meet. That's right here. Oh, there we go. Sorry, my pen wasn't behaving. So this says three, four. Three on the x axis four on the y-axis. Now let's go to the next one because I have a secret picture here that we're gonna plot. Three on the x-axis, just like before. And now five on the y-axis. So that's just a little bit above this one. There we go. Now let's go, so we did this one. I'm sorry, this marker is not behaving. Let's do this one now, four on the x-axis and six, ah, there it is. Now we're gonna do this, five on the x-axis and six on the y-axis, that's right next door. Now we're gonna go here, six on the x-axis and five on the y. Oh, let's see. Now we have seven on the x-axis and six on the y-axis. Right, so you know what I'm gonna start doing now? I'm gonna start using a ruler. I'm actually gonna draw and connect my dots. All right, I'm gonna connect these do that hopefully in a way that you can see. As long as the marker cooperates. So I'm going in order. And we're gonna do this every single time we put a mark now so that we don't get confused. Okay, so we did seven, six. I like to put a check mark so they know which ones I've already done. Now, eight, six. So here's eight on the X axis, six on the Y, right up here. 
Ooh, that line didn't work out very well. Nine on the x-axis and five. So right here. Nine on the x-axis and four. eight on the x-axis and three on the y so eight three draw our line it's always good to use a ruler and get nice straight lines oh we're almost done seven on the x-axis and two on the y Okay. What do you guys think it looks like so far? I think I know what it is, but I'm not gonna say yet. Here's six and a one on the y-axis. Mm -hmm. Oh, I bet you all definitely know what it is now. Five X and two Y, it's right there. What do you guys think? And then four on the x-axis and three on the y. Oh, and what is that? That's right, it's a heart. Very cool. So that's how we can use grids to graph out or map out an object on a Cartesian plane. So I'm going to go around this and make a second heart. Okay, so I'm actually gonna put a dot there and that is zero on the x-axis. I'm gonna write it. It's actually zero on the y-axis too. I'm gonna go up here, put a dot right here. This is five on the x-axis and one on the y-axis. Okay, and this one is four on the x-axis and two on the y. See how the X always goes first. Uh oh, my marker is being so kooky. I should get a different one. There we go. If I went here, let's see. Three on the X. Oh, look at that. And three on the Y. Three, three. So this is two on the x-axis and four on the y-axis. I said the word axis so many times it doesn't make sense anymore. All right, now I'm gonna go up here to this one. I'm just making a little outline around my heart. So this is two on the x, and five on the y. here. Three on the X, six on the Y. Oh, one more. I'm gonna go up here. Four, seven. Here next, five, seven. Here, six, six. Up here, 
seven, seven. Here. Eight, seven. Nine, six, ten, five, I hear Emily waking up from her nap, ten, Four here, nine, three here, almost done. Eight, two, one here, it's our last one. Seven, one. I'm going to connect these last three dots. Boom. There. As you can see, we can put our coordinates right by our dots. Just like that. So you can make a lot of different designs. And attached, I actually have some secret images for you. They're a little bit longer. By a little bit, I mean a lot. So if it's not something you're interested in, you don't have to. But look, here is a whole list of coordinates and you do like a section at a time, like this. And it uses a much bigger graph than what we've been using. Look, it goes to 40 and 34. You see, this is the X axis. And this is the y-axis. So I put my name. And I go, wait, 9 on the x-axis and 21, which is here. Let's make sure I did that right. Yeah, 9 and 21. Then I have to go to 9 and 24. And I'm going to draw a line. Oh, I need to do this so I can keep track. 10 and 25 right here. Twelve and twenty-five. Ooh, I'm running into my pen. I'm only gonna go to here, just BTW, just by the way. 13 and 24. And 13 and 20, it's right here. Okay. So you would keep going. So let me just show you how to go between sections. And then we go here 20 and 31. All the way up here. I want to make sure I get that right. Because sometimes my eyes need to get a little bit of extra help. So 26 and 32, oh, let's do this, 26 and 32, like that, 27, oh, And 35. Oh, look at that. That's a that goes up pretty quick. 
Do you see how I just go section by section on the key? And every time I make a point, I connect it with a ruler, okay? Sometimes it can be easy, like going up this way is kind of tricky for me. So I could do, oh, this next one is 27. So I can hold my ruler here so that I know I'm on the right line. So 27 and 36. So that's gonna be right here, just straight up. So if your eyes have trouble, that's one thing you can do. Or you can just use, you know, a piece of paper. You can see this is 27. Sometimes my eyes get a little confused with all the squares, so you can give that a shot, okay? So these are attached to the email if you wanna do them, or you can make up your own just like that. Draw the dots, and then you can write out the coordinates. Remember, X marks the spot, X always goes first, okay? All right, guys, that's the end of the lesson. I hope you enjoy, and of course, of course, if you would like to color in your designs, you are, of course, so welcome to do that. I welcome any kind of decoration and embellishment because so much of this work you work so hard on and when you take that extra little bit of time to embellish it and make it beautiful, it makes it that much stronger of a work because your pride and your care of that work shows through by careful illustration and decoration, okay? So go ahead, feel free to make any kind of design you want. And I would love to see them when you're done. So if you make one, snap a picture, send it to me, okay? All right, my darlings, I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.